guys welcome back to the to the channel hope you're all doing well hope everything's going fine for you this uh this day and hopefully your reefs are all doing really really good um what i'm going to do this today i'm going to show you a few things i've bought um some of the things that's going to be added to the tank as per usual hopefully it's going to be the last time i'm going to buy this stuff so fingers crossed that will be the case um, and also I bought a new product, never even heard of the company to be fair, um, to basically go into my CO2 scrubber, um, just until I get the calc stirrer up and running. Once I get that going, then obviously there'll probably, there'll probably be no need for me to be running a CO2 scrubber anyway then, so I'll take that out and then maybe I might put the pump there, the new pump that I'm going to be buying. Um, or you know maybe something else. I might even put that over one, the the little tiny D and D one that uh, puts the salt water into the tank from when the uh, KH keeper. Also going on to that KH keeper, bit of an issue, but hopefully maybe in this video it might not be in this video. It might be in the next one. I've had a communication with a guy called Maxim. So if you are watching this, or I did did tell him that I have a YouTube channel, so he might watch it. If you are watching it, I really appreciate all your help. Um, and Debbie from Coral Compass as well, I really appreciate your your help in the matter um, of sorting me out with some some new uh, new stuff for the uh, the KH keeper. But I'll talk a little bit more about that in the in this video. But first things first, what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around. I'll show you the tank, show you the stuff that I bought, and then we'll talk about, like I said, the KH keeper saga. So what I'll do is I'll put the filter on because it is. A little bit blue. I have turned the uh, the the lights down like last time, which I said I was gonna do. A lot of the comments said, yeah, they like the lighting, the way the lighting was. So I'm gonna keep it at that. I've saved the setting for that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, it should be pretty decent. It should be the same as what it was last time. So I'll turn the camera around, and fingers crossed, it'll be like that once I put this filter on. So stay tuned, guys. So. Here we go, let's put this on, there we go. So as you can see guys, tank looking pretty decent, pretty good. But the first thing you'll probably see straight off the bat is, yeah, you guessed it, is my anemone, my, how can I put it, my, uh, my anemone. Basically, an anemone, anemone, that's what it is. I mean, no matter what I do, guys, this an enemy just follows me everywhere. No matter what I do, rock, moving the rock, adding rock, putting stuff there, and that an enemy just seems to just come out and yeah, uh, really, really stuck with the situation. Now, somebody did post to me though, um, if you remember, this an enemy was coming out of this gap. Now it's decided to come out the other gap, hence why it looks like it's going there. Now, I did post a picture, I think it was on Instagram, and some people said, you know what, it looked really good there. Um, and I've got to admit, it does look good. However, it stops me being able to use this rock. This rock is, well, basically the rock was there. I added the rock basically for, um, to add new SPS coral. And that is my plan. That is what I'm still gonna go with. Um, but obviously, with the anemone being there, that's a bit of an issue. We can't have that. Um, but somebody did post, like I said before, on Instagram, I think it was, or they, they messaged me saying, have you seen this uh, this this trick, this hack? And basically what they do is they put, if I can find the email or the, le the, the, the notice, I'll post it up. I'll put it here or here somewhere, here or here, and you'll be able to see it. But basically the comment was, basically stick, uh, get a sponge, with a piece of acrylic tube, uh, it's not acrylic tubing, some tube, some piping. Put the pipe in, cut the hole, put the pipe in, and then basically what you do is you wedge the sponge in the hole where it is, and what happens is it makes the anemone look for light. So the anemone then climbs up the tube, it releases its foot, and then you can take it out. Now I thought that was a really good idea, to be fair. Um, something that I probably might look into, into doing, to be, to be honest with you. Because I think uh, that might be the only resort. Like I said, guys, that foot of that anemone is completely wedged in that rock. 
Um, it's a big an enemy that is. It's a, it, it is a pretty big an enemy. So that's the issue we have. Is uh, I just can't get to its foot. Um, so that's the that's the problem we're having. But nevertheless, it as long as it stays there, we're not too bad at this moment in time. It's it's I can I can cope with it being there. But if it starts to move anywhere else, especially near this bubble coral or over this section, you know, then we, then it it's got to come out. And if I have to take the rock out, then I have to take the rock out. There's no other there's no other um, way about it. It's as simple as that. But moving on from the uh, the anemone issue, everything else is going really good in the tank, guys. Uh, color, the growth, this bubble coral. It's just absolutely massive today. I mean, as you can see, it's completely filling up this side. I need to clean the side of the glass. This is just, to be truthful with you guys, this is probably about maybe three, three weeks. I'll get growth on the side of there. It's just being laziness. I mean, when I'm coming through my house here, I just basically see the front of it like this. So, I mean, I don't see the sides. Obviously, the chair is here and the chair is here. So we don't. We just basically see the front, the front of the tank, which is probably the best. And uh, yeah, so that's why sometimes I'm just completely lazy. This side of the tank I've never cleaned. I haven't cleaned for about eighteen months. So that is just like completely black. But then again, if you look at it, it's not that dirty to be fair. I mean, a bit of coralline algae all on it. But really, it's not, considering I've never cleaned it, at least eighteen months. I don't think it looks that bad. But yeah, other than the, the cleaning of it, the cut bubble, that bubble just looks fantastic. If you remember on the last video, the scully was up here, and then we also had the uh, this um, lobo, which was here, which was here. Sadly, the lobo has gone to the back of the tank. That to make his way over there. I mean, that that guy's is a stinger, so I couldn't risk him putting it anywhere else. So I've wedged him at the back. He's not, it's not liking it there. To be fair. Uh, it's such a shame, so I might have to get rid of it. It's one of the very first corals I did buy, but unless I do some reshuffling in the tank, then there's sadly no place for him to uh, to go. As for this PC Rainbow, not doing too good. I think I might have to move this, to be fair, back to the original position where it was. Um, just I don't think it's getting enough flow, to be honest. Even though I've got this this uh, max specs here, I don't think it's getting as much flow as it should do. Um, hence the reason why it's, it's sulking and it's not looking uh, it's not looking as good. But the rest of the tank, guys, the look with the uh, scully back on the floor, it looks fantastic. Um, everything else, all doing well. These uh, dunk these uh, so not Duncans, these candy canes are all doing well. If you remember last video, they were being stung because obviously the anemone was coming out here, so it was touching these ones, but they've made a recovery and yeah. Everything seems seems pretty well on that on on that front. The uh, little top, the sorry, the little frog spawn is doing good, and then we have the uh, Euphilia garden that's just looking fantastic. Um, no issues at all. In fact, I think it looks actually better. They look better here than when they did on the rock. I think it's just the flow. The, I think the gentle the gentle flow coming across the bottom of the sand is uh, is a lot better for them, especially for the uh, the dragon soul. I think that Dragon Soul is definitely loves loves this much this 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 amount of flow. I think it didn't like us as much because it was getting a little bit battered up there. So yeah, it's uh it likes it up it likes it down this on this spot. And then we just have the candy canes. I spoke about this little uh, hammer that's doing really good. And then we've got the usual crew of the clams, which is fantastic. This clam is just absolutely massive. And then we have the sign arena. The hi right, guys. Welcome back. Sorry about that. What it is is I think this camera it only shoots um, in 4K, and I think it only cuts off after 10 minutes or so. So that was the reason why it cut out. Apologies for that. Um, but yeah, we're back into it. But like I said, everything else is going really good on the tank, guys. The uh, SPS are all thriving. Fish are loving it. Life. This one at the back, like I said before last video, is looking really, really good. Looking fantastic, to be fair polyps really flowing in this absolutely love love this side of the tank really coming on really really well but overall guys the tank is doing really good 
you've seen this before so there's no point in really going over it and yeah really happy with the way things are going but the products that I bought are as follows obviously we needed more calcium the calcium this calcium I go through like there's no tomorrow especially with what I'm dosing in the system um, and then what we also had we also had these components strong these are basically all the macro elements that you need for, for, for your tank and they come in four bottles four tiny bottles supposed to be a new traces formula so yeah the last bottle the last box i had didn't have that on i don't think um so we'll see what's new in it and whether there is anything different i doubt it but you never know pretty expensive for them i think they're around about 25 26 quid for those so hence the reason why we are going to be going off this so we're limiting it down and we're going to be going onto the calc as well uh bought some of the uh artemia Fish absolutely love these things. Bought two packs of them and then bought three packs of the Copa Pods. I bought some of the Kraken Reef Glue. Really good Reef Glue, this guy's um, from Kraken Coddles. Get over and check them out. Really, really good. Pretty decent price as well. And yeah, really happy. But the product that I was a bit, well, not concerned, but a bit like diff different with is this CO2 scrubber. Basically, all it is is it's solder lime. Yeah, so the lime is what you put in a CO2 scrubber to uh, to obviously take the CO2 out of your, your tank. So basically you're seeing this, it was on the thing, I've run out of it and I thought, you know what, we'll give this a crack. 1200 grams, so obviously my, my CO2 is 500. So it'll be two fills, but it's hopefully, fingers crossed, it should last a while. But we'll see. I think it was like £11.99 for this. Blue Tang, never heard of it, but we'll try it and we'll see what it's like. And yeah, if it's good, I will let you know about it. But hopefully, that will all work out fine. And that will be the last uh, calcium that I will be buying for the tank. But the major issue, really, and the issue talking point is the KH Keeper. KH Keeper, as you know, I never keep it switched on, guys, the lights, because of the algae issues that I was having. Um, but basically, what we've done is it needed, I kept on getting a reading, what I'll do is I'll post a, a picture up here, um, it'll be one of these sides as per usual, and you'll see basically it was saying that it was 8.47 all the time, now if that was the case that was perfect, because I like to run it at 8.5 anyway, but it was kept on saying 8.47, 8.47, then it says above the range, which it wasn't above the range because I said it between I think it was 8 and 9.5 or something like that, so obviously it wasn't above the range. Um, and then it said reagent, it had run out of reagent. Now, obviously a big issue, didn't have a clue what was going on. So we tried to recalibrate it. Guys, I was literally there for literally three, three hours trying to calibrate pump B and pump A. And no matter what I did, I mean, if you guys have got the KH Keeper, you'll know exactly what I mean. Basically the KH Keeper asks you to calibrate it. Um, the pump B, uh, sorry, the yeah, the pump B. Basically, the pump B is what takes the water out of the system um, into the beaker, and that's your test sample. Basically, I, I calibrated that, I tried to calibrate it, and what you do is it pumps it for 60 seconds. You guys will know if you've already got one, but for people who haven't, you'll calibrate it for 60 seconds, It'll then you get it'll give it a reading. So if it's pumped out, say 15 mil or 20 mil, you you tally that into the uh, into the app, and then the app obviously, and then it's it's basically should be calibrated. So then what you do is you do an accuracy test. The accuracy test then says that you should dose between 49.5, uh, 49.5, um, and or 50.5. Uh, and that should be the accuracy range, guys. I was getting 58, 42, 44. 59, 50, nowhere near what it should have been. And I did this for literally three hours. And I just got, in the end, I was just that so annoyed that I just shut it off, switched the pump off, and didn't bother. But like I said, I've been in contact with Refactor. They've been fantastic with me. Uh, Maxim, like I said before, um, he's, been, he's been dealing with it and he's done, he's, you know, 10 out of 10 for him. He said, no problem, we'll sort it. And he has done. He's been in contact with Debbie from Coral Compass and they're sending me out some new pumping heads, some new dosing heads. So really appreciate uh, the, the, you know, the help that I got from them guys. And yeah, 
10 out of 10 for customer service, I can't really fault them. So hopefully what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back on the pump. I might try and do a little video of it, of me uh, taking, taking, taking this apart, showing you guys, well, some of you guys who maybe haven't seen it, uh, what's in it and stuff like that. I'll take it apart, put, replace the new pump heads and we'll see where we go from there. Hopefully it'll all be right back up and running and uh, yeah, we'll be back to, uh, to checking out the alkalinity. So bit of an issue this week guys uh nothing major really to be fair um i've just been testing the alk with the hannah checkers and it's been fairly reasonable it's been in the region of 8 8.1 on the hannah checker so i i'm not I'm, I'm quite happy with that that's fine but uh fingers crossed get that back up and running and we should be up and uh yeah back to uh full strength so hopefully you like this video guys i really appreciate all you coming back commenting and all your comments below, like I said, I always reply to every single one of you guys. Um, I'm gradually getting up to that 1,000 mark. Can't believe uh, from my last video, I think I was got about 30 odd subscribers more. So I really appreciate, really appreciate you uh, subscribing, you guys that did. Um, and for those guys who haven't subscribed, I really appreciate the, the thumbs up and the sub subscription, if you wouldn't mind. It doesn't cost you anything. But it definitely helps me out um, to achieve that 1,000 uh, subscriber milestone. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate uh, your, your, your time. And, yeah, if I don't see you on the uh, the next video or the live streams. Oh, by the way, yeah, don't forget Friday Night Live Streams every Friday on one of our channels. Check us out. Head over to myself, um, Reef, uh, sorry, Jay's Real Reef. Bearded Reef or Fish Palace. Check our Instagrams out. See which one. It, see which uh, which which channel it's going to be on. Which YouTube channel it's going to be on or for the live stream. And head over for a bit of reefing chat and yeah, some fun in general. So once again, guys, appreciate your comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. See you soon.